Number nine, identify and label the Bronsted-Lowry acid, its conjugate base, the Bronsted-Lowry base and its conjugate acid in each of the following equations. And then we have this equation right here. So we have to find out these four things, the Bronsted-Lowry acid of base and the conjugates in HNO3 plus H2O, which will yield H3O plus plus NO3 minus. All right, so the easiest uh, way to do these is to first find out the pairs. We can't do anything without finding the pairs. And the pairs are very simple to spot out because they are going to be basically the same except for either an H or an OH. 99% of the time it's going to be a hydrogen difference. So we're always going to have one part of the pair on the left side and one part of the pair on the right side. So let's see. Well, I see that I have a HNO3 over here, right? And now I just got to find its pair. Well, here's a NO3. They look very similar, NO3, NO3. So that's a pair. And if you find the correct pair, the other pair is right in front of you, right? There's only two pairs in, a, in a, you know, an acid-base equation. And these kind of go together. I mean, they definitely go together. H2O and then H3O+. Plus. Now, the second easy thing to do is to just write the word conjugate. Now, they talk about conjugate base and conjugate acid. The conjugates are always going to be on the product side. So right off the bat, I'm just going to say this has to be a conjugate of some sort. I don't know whether it's the conjugate acid or the base yet, but these are your conjugates. Okay. Now, and you know what? I'm going to actually, let's see, actually I'll do the, I'll do the lines when we hook them all together. Now we just have to find out which one is the acid and which one is the base. Now I wrote down a little easy thing to, for you guys to memorize. Acids are always going to have one more hydrogen than its conjugate base, and then vice versa, bases have one less hydrogen. So acids will always have a, one more hydrogen, bases will have one less. So just analyze your pairs. HNO3 versus just NO3. Which one is the acid and which one is the base? Yeah, HNO3, this one has the hydrogen. And acids always have one more hydrogen. So since HNO3 has one more hydrogen, this has to be the Bronsted-Lowry acid. So maybe I'll just put, maybe I'll just put BL for short. Bronsted-Lowry acid. And if this is the acid, this has to be the base. Out of a pair, you can only have one acid and one base. So if you know that this is the acid out of the pair, this has got to be the base. And now we know that this is the conjugate base. And now you just got to do the same thing for the other pair. Out of H2O and H3O, which one has more hydrogens? Yeah, it's this one. So this has to be the acid. And specifically, it's the conjugate acid because it's on the product side. And then this one would have to be the base. And they're just saying it's the Bronsted-Lowry base. So there you go. Another thing is that you can never have two acids on one side or two bases. It always has to be one acid and one base. So if you, you, you know, if you have an acid here and then you accidentally put an acid here, can't have two acids on the same side. So go back and just, you know, fix it up a little bit. But this is basically the, the answer here. And now I will draw the pairs. So these go together and these go together. And there you go. Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.